Hmm. Okay. Let's look through the window. <laughs> hmm. You could tell I'm really grasping at straws right now, right? Oh, hello eyeballs. Maybe I should check on the machine. Maybe that's what that's telling me. What the heck? Alright, so it's room number seven, right? Her room, yeah. So we will leave this and we will go to the strange gas device. Go to seven, right? All right, we will put some sleep powder in there. All the way up to the top, there we go. Oh my god. Put some sleep powder in the funnel, examine the canister. Compress gas, it's not empty yet. Let's just uh, press the gas button. Wait, can we actually ask for... Um... Uh, which was it? President Ankovic? Is President Ankovic the, t the tenant uh, people? Maybe we could ask for uh, the, the nurse's name. Prozen Enkovic, how may I help you? Uh, it's Victor Neff again. Uh, I called earlier about the caretaker, Mr. Morton. Hello again, Mr. Neff. How can I help you this time? Um, you have the number to Selma Theed in this building. I'm afraid not. She didn't employ our services. So we don't have her on file. All right. Great. Uh, Dixon and Son, he's a nutter. Uh, Mr. Willard, let's call... Mm, no. Um, I guess Mr. Willard, let's give him a ring. I know, literally... Okay, he's busy. He's still got the whole, uh, the, the line is still active. Um, okay, so the police are useless. We can't, we can't get her number from Prosser and Ankovic. Uh, Dixon and Sun also useless. Uh, let's just press the gas button just for fun. I know it won't actually do anything. But, it'll make the room gassy. Let's check in on the machine. It, it you know, looked at me with its weird eyes. Uh, Mr. Martin's dying wish was to shut this thing down. Apparently the roots are lodged in the dreams of people in the estate. He, may, he wanted me to cut them off. Examine the control panel. There's three, right? This indicates how many dreams the machine is draining power from. I guess the yellow lights indicate the remaining dreams. Okay, that's fair. Power indicator supply. Penal gland simulator. Hmm. Okay, so there's, there's not much good going on in here. Not much use. The, the thing did look at me when I entered the room, so maybe there's something that I'm missing in here? Or maybe it's just, it, it's trying to peep at me. Or maybe these monitors have something to do with um, the monitors in... Um, in uh, Martin Willard's dream. He lives on the third floor. I have to cut the tentacle from his dream somehow. That's why I should focus on next. Okay, let's examine the note. Piece is blank, except for the big question mark. I guess this area hasn't been charted yet. Hmm. Okay. Let's examine the safe. This is where I find Mr. Martin's master key. Okay, um, hmm. I'm not really sure now what to do. So 
so I can't break in anymore. This guy's music no longer annoys her. She's like, oh yeah, that's that's nice, it's classy. Let's lower the volume just a little bit. All the way down just to see. That's as low as the knob goes. Can I even hear it? I don't think I can. Let's turn it off and then leave. Right, uh... Should we check out Mr. Willard's dream again? Oh, there's only so much we've got to do right now, right? We can try and knock out our uh, neighbor, uh, the nurse, or we can uh, enter the dream of Mr. Willard. We might be able to go to uh, our moving guy, uh, Ankovic, and son. Whatever he is called. The, the mover. I'm gonna try. I, I really want to try his dream. When the helmet on him would give the machine access to yet another dream. I can't let that happen. Maybe Alicia? Maybe she'll still be of use. Let's try Alicia. Alright. I don't know. Let's try it. She might have some insight. I can't visit her dream again. The tentacle has already been cut off. Well, crap. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if I just knock on um, Miss Need's uh, room like this. I'm not doing that again. That's awkward beyond belief I need. There has to be some other way of putting her to sleep. Examine this box. Contains fire equipment. Is that a fire alarm? No. Open the closet door. Just an empty closet. Hmm. Can we open the stairwell? Stairwell seems to be sealed off. Judging by the warning tape, I say it's probably hazardous. Who knows, Mr. Neff? You practically own the place now. You inherited it when you murdered the um, the owner. Right, so all we got left to do is Mr. Willard's dream. So let's go check that out one more time. Maybe we missed something, a big major step. Right, maybe something with the monitors and the, the eyes. We could check it out one more time. We'll, we'll go shrink ourselves, go through this gap, and check in on the um, the monitors one more time. Examine. Managed to turn off some of those creepy monitors. What good would that do me? I mean, it did the same eyeball thing in the um, in the the room, right? And that that has uh, the nine monitors. But wait, are these the money? Are these the actual monitors of the rooms? Can I actually see the rooms on this? I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Like, extremely hard to tell. Hmm. Like, what? What is there I can do here? Let's leave the dream. There's that telescope in um, Martin's room. That's looking in someone's apartment. I've not actually done anything with that. So we can check that out real quick. Okay, let's have a look. Hey, the radio got turned back on. Wait, wait a sec. <laughs> it's got its own view with the helmet on. That's hilarious. Okay, you can take that off for that now. Okay, is there anything we can do here? Can we zoom in alright? Nope, no scrolly zooms. 
Um, I'm surprised Mr. Neff hasn't commented on, on anything. Like, oh, this is entirely too creepy for my neighbor. Good liking, you know? He was just sat there staring for hours on end, my guy. Okay, so... What can we really do? Hmm... I'm not doing that again, that was awkward beyond belief. There has to be another way of putting her to sleep. Does... Our... Neighbor, Eddie, have a... A radio? I'm thinking we just turn the entire building's speaker system up to like, you know, 11. I'll examine this phone. Our big light rotary phone. Nice, nice. Uh, no radio, lamp, books, photo. Hmm. Check the bedroom. I mean, bathroom. Nothing in here of use. Was there a radio in the front room? Not much in here. No. Is this chest with uh, 1887 written on it? That is an ancient trunk. Alright. Um, can we look under the rug or anything? Examine this painting. Lighthouse in rough weather. It reminds me of Bioshock, that actually. Kind of. Uh, let's check the pendulum clock. It's almost four o'clock. Visiting all these streams is taking a lot longer than I thought. It really is. I thought, you know, a six hour game, easy peasy. Nope. <laughs> we, we've got this though. I'm determined. So, let's, let's think of our options right now. We have not so much, right? We, we can't, let's, let's try and gas this place. Maybe we just consistently gas the room until she's like, until the room is just um, a hazard, a health hazard. So what is it? Room number seven. We've got that set up. Beautiful. We've filled up with uh, gas powder and everything. Let's press the button. Maybe we could check a mail. But I'm I'm pretty sure it's empty. Because only Mr. Willard had something in there. Anything going on, my guys? Oh, and it's definitely not the same monitors in, in uh, Willard's stream because I would have recognized this guy sleeping or these people. Like, I've, I was thinking this and maybe this and this were on the bottom monitors, but... Um, yeah, it, it's, it's not the same as these, is it? So maybe let's just put them all in order. One to nine. So then I can see everything. Why does the screen change color? Is that just a visual? Like, yeah, it definitely changes. That's strange. Okay. I'm gonna go with four here. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There we go. Okay, so we can see literally everyone on here now. Wait, is there more than nine? No, it goes back to one. Let's leave while it's like that. Hmm. Okay. Let's look through the window. Hmm, you can tell I'm really grasping at straws right now, right? Like, for reals. 
Uh, but you know what? I think I am going to leave it here for today. I'm, I'm going to consider things and stuff. Uh, we need to. What we need to do basically is get Selma Seed, uh, Selma Seed, uh, to use her fawn or um, or we you know we need to knock her out basically and the only way to do that is to get her in her one in the one room we can see her in and we use the gas and we can't really do that yet so all we can actually do right now is enter Mr. Willard's stream but in his dream we're kind of stuck as well because we need to uh enter the maze room of mazes uh i'm not sure like like we've not got much we can do there either like if i go back into mr willard's room right and we enter his dream i'm gonna go to the maze room and just see just so i i can um you know think of things in between episodes right so auto saving so there's got to be something here these these prisms are, are stuck in place and we we can't easily access the room we can turn the cube nope the, the cube is stuck as well okay we're just going to see what all we can do here, you know? So, let us make ourselves bigger and enter this, um... This how it, can we turn this, actually? Oh, is it stuck in place? Oh, cube is also stuck here, okay. So, is there anything we can do in this room? Like, I can make myself super small. Woo! Hello! <laughs> like what oh wait do, do you say anything Mr. Neff the mounting isn't designed to hold the staff that's fair you're not going to be like oh this stuff is, is far too big for me to put up on top of there okay so there doesn't seem to be anything here anymore like this just seems to be um a, a a a done room you know it won't it won't even let us like use the door properly anymore so that's what's giving me the hint that it's done pretty much like the prism is stuck in the cube the cube no longer moves and the lasers are dead so all we got left to do in this dream as of this moment is look at those monitors and um and and try and conquer this maze i've not examined that ledge either so or this doorway that doorways are lining the walls of this room i don't know where they lead or how i'm supposed to get to them yeah it's kind of sus, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you be super small in this room? For no reason. Can you climb up these uh, little indents in the tiles? Be, you got to be some epic uh, gymnast to do that. Plus, I think it'd take way more energy and effort to get yourself up, like, like, 50 tiles, rather than going up the, you know, one and a half meters. Oh, two meters. Let's say two meters. I don't think Neff's that sharp. But, you know, saying two meters is still pretty, pretty sharp. I don't know why I'm rambling. I think I am going to leave it here though for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. 
and um yeah i'll uh see you next time oh wait there's there's a shadowy patch oh never mind it's just a shadow <laughs> so thank you guys for watching uh hope you're enjoying it and have a good one goodbye